What is going on guys, back with another video and in today's video we're going to be putting on the very first performance, there I go again, a bit of darkness, god dang, keep the exposure the same please, I need it, but anywho, we're going to be putting on the very first performance part on the Camaro, yeah, this should have been done a long time ago, yes I know, I know, I know, don't, don't yell at me, don't yell at me, don't yell at me. Well, actually, sec technically the second one, since the, I guess exhaust kind of counts, doesn't it? But yeah, technically this is the second one since exhaust kind of counts because it, I mean, it won't say it give you like good horsepower gains, but it gives you like maybe one or two, but I don't, yeah. it still counts. Anywho, I ordered this part back in, I think, June. We're now in August, and I just now got it today. Just now got it today, like uh, two hours ago. I think I got it. Got delivered to the house, and I'm here to get it and pick it up. Two months later, after I ordered it, now I know everything going on with coronavirus and everything like that. So now everybody's work, we're able to work at their full capacity. But geez, it, it got to the point to where they were like, "Yeah, this isn't gonna, sh isn't, it's not gonna ship out or be ready till." October and I was like, I'm not waiting to that for that long. What can we do? What what you guys can do for me? Um, since I already paid the money and it's been a few months already. I obviously don't want a a return right now if you guys can like offer me something else. And that's what happened. They offered me the pretty much the same exact part in a different finish that I didn't see for some reason. I'm not sure how I didn't see it. But yeah, they didn't have the one I wanted in stock, but they just had like a chrome polished finish. In stock so i was like mm, might as well get that i mean i plan on painting it anyway so i don't really care and so they were able to just switch it out for me but yeah thank you to aam for sending me out this intake but thank you to throttle for making this experience a lot less painful because it did take so long and they were pretty much trying to help me out as best as they could to their ability since it wasn't shipping from them it was shipping from the manufacturer so i just want to give a huge shout out to throttle if you guys want anything on our website, please go check them out. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but the way they handled this situation was amazing. And I'm definitely going to buy more stuff from them in the future. Anywho, video sponsored by Tulip Creative Designs. Get your legendary burnout merch today. Today. Get your legendary burnout merch today. Summer sale going on. It's about to end pretty soon since school's starting up. Summer sale is going on right now. Hurry up before as soon as school starts. That's when it ends pretty much like at the end of, uh, I think like the next two weeks, it ends in the next two weeks. So yeah, get your merch right now before the sale ends. Please get your merch in. And if you don't want Legendary Burnout merch, you can honestly customize whatever you want. Literally whatever you want. They can put on a t-shirt, face mask, anything. You can customize whatever you want if you don't want a Legendary Burnout merch. But please get your Legendary Burnout merch because I like seeing people tag me and post on Instagram and stuff like that wearing their shirts. I still got a lot of orders to go. But thank you guys so much for ordering your merch. You guys look amazing in them. Yeah, maybe I'll do a giveaway of some merch. Maybe. Just maybe. Hmm. But anywho, let's get into the video and show you guys what I got. Alright, so you guys ready for it? This is the part I ordered and it took two months, almost three months to get to me. So, yep, I went with an AEM Brute Force Cold Air Intake. For the, I think it's 10 to 11 uh, Camaro. Now, why did I go with this one? Simply because it relocates the uh, the air intake box to like the wheel well, the wheel well area of the car, taking it outside of the engine bay. And if you take it outside of the engine bay, obviously it's going to get bringing cooler air and everything like that. So any colder intake you get, and it sits, still sits in the engine bay, it's not going to bring in cold air necessarily. But if you relocate it outside the engine bay, it's going to bring in cooler air than compared to if you just left the cold air intake inside the engine bay with no heat shielding and stuff like that. So that's where, that's why I went with this one and I waited patiently for it. So yeah, after doing some research on it, the dyno charts and everything that they provide says it gives you about 16 rear wheel horsepower. I'm not sure how true that is, um, but I mean they did back it up with the dyno chart and everything like that. Uh, I'm not sure the conditions up for like from that dyno and everything like that, but that's what they specify. So I'm not sure. Like I don't believe that it's going to give you 16 horsepower, but if it does, great. If it doesn't, oh well. But yeah, I'm going to unbox this real quick and show you guys what comes in it and everything like that. 
opening up the package. This is what we got. We got a dog in the background. He's weird. I don't know if you guys can see him. That's my little buddy though. Alright, so lack of packaging. I'm definitely gonna put this on my car. I think I don't have one. Let me check real quick. Correction, I do have one. It's black and white, just like this one, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But it's a uh CarMax one, so I'm probably gonna take it off and put this for AM performance one. So I can rep the AEM team. Not sponsored by them at all. Let me put that in. Not sponsored by them at all. So everything I say in this video will be my straight opinions on it. How everything feels. God dang, this is really thick. Hmm. That must be the relocation bracket for the um, washer fluid. Windshield washer fluid. Alright, let's get this out. Throw my couplers and everything out of the way. Alright, I'm definitely going to need directions for this crap. Because this stuff looks a lot more difficult than I anticipated. Alright. We got a coupler right here. And we have the windshield washer reservoir that they provide because the old one won't be used again. Not sure how this is going to work, but I'll see. All right, we've got another coupler right here. This honestly looks like a reducer. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to end up getting a 76 millimeter over, overkill throttle body and I'm going to get it ported and everything like that uh, later down the road. But it looks like I won't need to get another coupler because this one is already a reducer. And then we got a bunch of wiring. Wire, wires. Uh, this is for the... Um, uh, I think I can't think right now. This is for the uh, mass airflow sensor, yeah. And I'm not sure what that one is for. <laughs> so we're going to figure that out when, once I uh, start like looking at everything, start looking at the installation and everything like that. But also here's the dyno chart. It's going to show this up real quick. It's going to show it in person. Even though I put it on the screen, the before and after of the uh, dyno. Let me see if this... It doesn't say if it's SAE Smoothing 5 or not, but... Let's see. Third gear runs. Humidity was 4%. Oh, that's that is funny. So this car made 246 with the AEM code air intake. My car stock made just about that same amount, which is funny. But yeah, it's 16.39 horsepower at a uh, or 16.39 horsepower at 5300 RPMs. Um, that was just a max gain, like the peak gain, gain. Um, so yeah. Let's let's look at the installation and let's get into it. Hopefully I'll be able to install it all in this video. And then we got some stickers right here. Some AEM stickers. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those because they're not going on my car. I put the license plate bracket on there, but I'm not putting it on my car. It's too clean. Alright, so I'm gonna read this real quick. Okay, so it wants me to alright, I need to see what I should do with the uh, intake reservoir like how, how I should get all the uh, fluid out and what it wants me to do do with that okay it looks pretty simple so I can just take it out pretty much dump the fluid back into the other one all right this is really simple so yeah that's producer so yeah, I'm eventually gonna get rid of that reducer because one that can, that restricts um, as much air that can go into go into the uh, intake manifold, and I'm also gonna uh, port the overkill throttle body. I'm gonna get that one eventually. It's only like I think two to three hundred bucks, so it's not expensive at all. I just wanted to get this thing first to see if it will like what I would have to do to actually get that. Just in case I need to buy another reducer or something like that. I may have to, may not have to, since it's a lot bigger and it comes with a reducer. So I may just be able to bolt up the stock manifold, or bolt, bolt up the stock intake manifold. And this is, oh my god, this thing is huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, honestly. A lot bigger. So yeah, I'm going to get into the installation real quick. I'm just trying to read the instructions and make sure I have everything I need before I get started because I don't want to go back and forth to the store just getting stuff that I thought I had and I didn't have. But yeah, I have a lot of tools, so just make sure I have, like, not, like, just making sure I don't need any, like, specific 
uh, car specific tools that the Camaro may need. So yeah, one second. Let's okay, this is a stock intake. The last person who had this car literally did nothing to it. I gotta clean that uh, <clears throat> manifold cover off because <laughs> last person who had it literally did nothing to this car besides maintenance. So surprise, surprise. Um, yeah, I was gonna start by disconnecting all the stuff, get rid of this washer fluid thing, pull this heap of junk out, and yeah, we're just gonna get into it. Start ripping and running. I'm gonna put the GoPro on top of my head, and um, yeah, we're just, we're, we're just gonna do it from here. If I can make this camera taller. Wait, I'm also gonna have this camera I'm just looking right here because it's like a perfect shot. All right, so I'm gonna start by removing this oil cap real quick. I'm removing the cover. Just going word for word for the instructions. Put the cover on the ground. What the hell? All right, so I'm gonna have to put my phone on top of the uh, top of the instructions because the wind will blow it off. Disconnect. All right, I shouldn't need too many tools at the beginning of this. All right, there we go. Got the airflow sensor off or mass airflow um, wire harness off. I'm gonna need a star bit to get the um, mass airflow sensor off itself. Okay. All right, gotta disconnect this plastic hose. And this is the breather breather valve. Why does that look like this oil right there? Oh, wait, that's coming from the that's coming from the crankcase. So. Probably just um, need a uh, a uh, oil catch can. All right, let's loosen this up. They give you really good instructions. Any like literally anybody can do this. <laughs> All right, move the inlet tube and air take lid from the engine bay. Okay, so I gotta loosen that up right there. Need to get, all right. So I'm just gonna loosen this up real quick. It'd be nice if I had a friend out here to help. Or not even to help, just to talk to, you know? My brother get lonely from time to time. All right, so we got this big old canister out. I'm gonna toss this out now. <laughs> so yeah, if, if I do eventually trade, trade this car in, I'm gonna put all the stock components back on. Um, I'm most likely going to trade this car in for the uh, new Mustang that's coming out soon. Alright, so move that. I need the mass airflow meter, so you gotta remember that's still on there when the time comes around. And I have my breaker bar in the trunk if I need it. Oop, wrong way. I just did all that looking for nothing. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, this is weird. I need to I need to go buy a 10 mil. Cause uh I, I guess these are 11. Because I know a few other things on this car is 11. Like, I think these are 11 right here too. Or is there some in here? Yeah, there's some holding this thing down still. It's holding it down. Okay. There it goes. You just gotta be muscle man to get this off. I don't wanna mess up those threads though. Can I get this out? Oh god. There's a bunch of dust that's coming off this thing. I'm gonna set that right there. So that was actually pulling in air from right nowhere. Wow. This thing was literally, I thought it was like pulling in the air from the grill. Nope, completely blocked off right there. It's pulling the air from the goddamn light, apparently. <laughs> there it goes. I'm gonna take this washer. Okay, update. Got it. So, it, I didn't, 
I didn't need to take the wheel off. Hopefully, I still don't need to take the wheel off. Um, but I, yeah, I just pulled it from the top and just put it out that way so it's easier to access so I don't have to be on the ground. It's not a game, it's a red all right we're back it's the next morning and yeah as you seen last night i ran out of daylight by a lot so i had to use like a freaking uh flashlight and lamp to help with the lighting so i can finish the install so i can you know be done with the install so i'm not sure how well it came out on the gopro because the gopro sucks at low lighting but yeah i'm probably gonna have to do a little razzle dazzle in the you know the adobe premiere anywho um the install didn't did not take that long because i started it around six o'clock and I, I think I ended it around like 7.30 or 8 o'clock. And for some reason, like, it got dark really fast. <laughs> so, I just wanted to finish the install and then do, like, the first drive the next day. So, I still got to, you know, do the first drive and everything like that. But first, let me show you guys what it looks like in the daylight. I always forget because I, I be getting the uh, Mustang and the Camaro confused. The Mustang comes from the uh, right and this one comes from the left. Anywho. This is what it looks like. All nice and buttoned up. And goes all the way down there to the filter, which you can barely even see. Now, I'm not sure how well that works when it's like raining or whatever, but yeah, it's pretty good so far. I mean, I've only had it on for a day, so I don't think I really have to worry about water or moisture because it's sitting right under the, um, what's it called the uh splitter fold and it's stopping water from getting in there anywho finish filling this up with coolant coolant finish filling this up with um windshield washer fluid as well um checked it to make sure there was no leaks this this is still holding up pretty well from after a day i'm checked back like maybe a month or so down the line to make sure that nothing's touching nothing's rubbing nothing you know rub through or anything like that but yeah, this is the uh, cold air intake. It's kind of hard to see, really. So yeah, if, probably if I ever need to do maintenance or anything, it's probably gonna be a little difficult on this thing to maybe change out the um, change out the filter and everything like that. But yeah, I may add some reflective tape on this to keep out the heat because this this is aluminum, just like the um, intake or intake manifold is. So and those hold heat like crazy. So I'm probably just gonna wrap this up to keep some heat out and then once i get the headers i'm going to do some header wrap i know that autozone sells some reflective uh reflective heat tape for cheap so i'm going to try it out if it doesn't work then it doesn't work it's not like a a big deal really <laughs> but yeah i didn't really think about that until i um but yeah that's something i really didn't think about until after i installed everything and i'm like wait this is just 
like the same material or just metal in general like my um uh intake manifold i know one's cast iron the other one is aluminum anywho and i'm like well this may retain heat more than holding it out so uh and keeping the air cold so maybe i should find something to you know wrap it around it and keep it as cool as possible because it's weird as like you know it's cold air intake but yet i'm pretty sure when it that engine base hot that that whole intake piping is going to get hot as well so i'm not sure how it is yet haven't driven a car yet so i'm going to save that first drive for my first impressions and everything like that and then i'm going to you know give you guys an update a you know, month or so down the line uh probably going to do the intake wrap in the, in the next video or so after the first drive i got some videos coming up you know got some people to you know test the car against in mexico with a stunt driver but yeah just gonna outro the video right here if you guys enjoy don't forget to like favorite subscribe if you guys want me to install more stuff on the camaro please drop a like subscribe for the camaro build i want to start building the mustang but i'm not sure yet i kind of want to keep that my daily and you know turn this into the race car just in case you know i don't want to have two cars that are not reliable just in case i go too crazy with the installs so i'm just putting it out there but anywho yeah if you guys enjoyed don't forget to like favorite subscribe if you want to see more of the camaro build please subscribe we are just getting started i got some crazy stuff on the way so yeah peace out